Hello everyone, Minecraft of Estes here, and I'm back today with another amazing redstone creation. Um, I hope this lag will go away. Um, so, uh, today I have to show you the combination lock. That's what I've made. Um, so, as you can see, um, this is a set of 11 levers, in which you have to get the combination right on all of them. Um, so, I believe, um, yes. And, it's very compact. Um... It should be fairly easy to build on your survival world, on your survival world. The only downside will be that there's a lot of repeaters required. I mean, obviously, it depends on the scale of your creation, but yeah. So, um, I'm going to show you how this is. So, as you can see, currently this door is closed. But if we open up um, it, we, we have to do that by flicking on some levers and go into this room with a chest full of absolutely nothing. And so, um, it is, um, very, very compact, like I said. It, uh, will be very, very useful in your base if you get one tiny thing wrong. It doesn't work if you get that if you have to get it all right for it to work. Um, 100% right, you have to get absolutely nothing wrong. In this example right here, which can be extended, there's already 2,048 combinations possible, which is kind of insane um it would take people it would take someone in several hours probably to get past that and by that time they'd be bored so um we're gonna hop right into the tutorial for this um it's um what you're gonna need is um some uh you're gonna need a lot of your building block probably just to build the creation and the framework but um so you're gonna want some building block i usually use iron you're gonna want a bunch of redstone repeaters, a lot of them, preferably. Um, a bunch of redstone dust, some levers, and a bunch of redstone torches. And whatever you really want it to trigger. Um, you could have a trigger nothing, though that's kind of pointless. Um, for this example, I'm just gonna have a trigger, um, a redstone torch. Uh, no, not a red redstone lamp. Um, in this example over here, though, I had a trigger, um, an iron door. So, it would open the iron door for you. Um, but yeah, so that's what you're going to need for this creation. And we're going to start building this. So, we're only going to build one six long. Um, just for the sake of time and the YouTube video limit. Um, because I haven't upgraded. So, you're going to, um, um, depending on how many levers you want, we're going to, like I said, do six. Um, um, that's going to require six levers. Now, um, I wouldn't do that in your base. A six lever combination lock means only 64 possible combinations, which isn't really enough. Um, that's, um, that's, that's pretty low. Someone, if they really wanted to, it would only take them, like, five minutes, probably, to get through your secret, get to your secret hideout with all your diamonds. Um, so we're going to use the combination... Um, off, off, on, on, off, off. Just to keep it simple, um, for time's sake. So, basically, um, you're gonna want this big iron thing right here. That's gonna hold all your levers. And you're gonna also want to have a bit of space right here. Um, because if, if you just had your thing triggered right here, that would automatically power it. So you're gonna need to give it a bit of space. And you're gonna need to have, like, whatever you want to power right here. Like, it could be a door, you could just have your redstone lamp down here, um, whatever you really fancy. So, um, let's, um, let's get into this. So, we're going to, um, so basically, every time you want to make it so that something needs to be off, you're going to need to, um, have, um, every time you want something that you want to need to be off, you're going to need to have a redstone torch behind that lever. So, um, since we're doing off, off, on, on, off, off, we're going to put two redstone torches because those are the off ones, Then you have on, on, so we're going to do nothing for now. Then we're going to have, um, another off, off. So, there you go, that's, um, sort of the basic stuff. Now, after the other on ones, you're going to want to place repeaters. Um, this basically is the opposite, anything with redstone is it is is the opposite of a knockade. It means only if this is powered. The reason I do redstone torches is because you want it to be powered if the lever is turned off. So um, we're gonna have these right here need to be powered. And as you can see, when you um, 
power the lever, um, one of those will be powered. And you want that, um, in this case. Now, after all of them, you're going to want, um, a bunch of, uh, you're going to want a bunch of repeaters in front of all of them. This way, it sort of looks like that. Now you could probably see a vague resemblance with all the repeaters and everything. And so you're going to have something that looks sort of like this. Now, what we're going to sort of do is we're going to wire this all into a gigantic AND gate, um, essentially. So um, the way we're going to do that is we're going to have these all run into redstone torches up here. And this, um, and so you um, are going to want these all to be off since they're in a knock gate. You're gonna want them all to be off if you want um, if you want the system to work. And the way that you detect if they're all off is you have um, is you have uh, something like this, or something like this, with redstone on top of it all. And this means that if only one thing is powered, it's all gonna be on instantly. Just one little torch is powered, it's all gonna be on. But if they're all off meaning they're all correct here, um, um, if they're all off, meaning they're all correct, then your combination is correct. So the way we detect this is we have to invert it again uh, through this little knock gate right here. And this means, so since this is dark, since this is not um, powered, um, that means that it's not correct. But now if we enter in our combination, that's off, off, on, on, so we need to turn these on, then two offs. You will see, this should power, theoretically. Now, here's the part where you have the option. You can run this into literally whatever you want. You could open um, this into a gigantic vault door, or you could just open this into, um, a, um, a, you, or you could just open this into a redstone lamp. Um, sorry to be anticlimactic, but unfortunately today we're just going to be doing the redstone lamp, just for the sake of time. So, um, we're going to run this into the redstone lamp. As you can see, this redstone lamp is on when the combination is correct. But, let's make it not correct. It's off. Turn it to anything that's not correct. It's going to be off. You have to only get it correct for it to be on. Um, so let's do that. And there, it goes on. So, that's our, um, simple and easy, um, uh, redstone, um, uh, combination lock. Using only a bunch of levers and repeaters and, uh, other stuff. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, um, put this in your base, um, simplify this. Please try and make this more compact. Um, I am, I, I am only okay at redstone, and I know there's many of you out there who are watching this video that are ultimate stars and are totally able to do this in a second um and that can make this a million times more compact so if you do please do um make a video about your build that would be greatly appreciated um and so um yeah like i said leave a like comment subscribe um and with this contraption i am out i'll see you later everyone